Well, we have just received some very, very sad news. And for anybody who knew Don Zimmer, how could you not love Don Zimmer? He passed away tonight. Western Hills High School class of 1949. You talk about a baseball lifer. Nobody could be matched up against Don Zimmer. Of course, he'll forever be known when the Chicago Cubs won in the National League East in 1989 to get to the National League Championship Series. I mean, he was the toast of the town. And of course, his running mate, his classmate, Jim Fry, was the manager when the Cubs won it in 1984. And Fry would go on to become Don Zimmer's boss as general manager of the Chicago Cubs when they won their division in 1989. So he had so many friends family here in the area his wife soot they've been together got married in fact if I'm not mistaken in Binghamton New York on the field while he was a, a young player and been married over 60 years. And he passes away today. Our thoughts and prayers to all who knew him and certainly loved him. What a guy. You know, Don, going back to his playing career, when he was hit by a pitch in 1953 by Jim Kirk. The ball hit hard. And Hamilton will go get it. And it caused Zimmer to faint. Maybe went into a coma, but he woke up two weeks later, yep. thinking that it was the next day. And that led Major League Baseball to begin to adopt a, using batting helmets. And shortly thereafter, it was Phil Rizzuto who was the first batter to use a batting helmet. I misspoke when I said that he was married in Binghamton. It was Elmira in 1951, and he had been dating Gene, nicknamed Soot, since 10th grade. Well, the Giants.